Hey everyone, it's Ethan or Miss back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We are here again uh, for yet another CDL video and I'm very excited to get into today's video. Uh, we're going to be looking at the kickoff classic and everything that went down during the kickoff classic this past weekend. It was a very, very exciting weekend and I'm super, super stoked to have Call of Duty back. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. We'll start it off, uh, we'll go in order of each day in each match, starting it off with a really great series between Florida and uh, the Los Angeles Gorillas, uh, perhaps going uh, the way that people weren't expecting as much. I mean, I think both of these teams can be really good teams, but honestly, I expected the Gorillas to be the better team here. But Skies on an SMG seems like quite a menace. I'm not going to lie, and uh, you know what, I mean, the communication was a big thing that Florida struggled with last year, and it's definitely seemed like it's much better, you know, with the listening, we were able to tell that it, they seem to be a much better communicating team, which is really, really nice, uh, and it's definitely a good thing for Florida, which will help them succeed, so... Uh, moving on to Seattle versus London. I don't think this was really a surprise to anyone because of how highly touted the Seattle Surge team is supposed to be. But to be honest, I just thought London was going to edge them out. But I don't really think anyone expected Seattle to do what they did this weekend. And I mean, a crazy weekend for them, of course. And props to Seattle. It was really fun watching Seattle. Uh, but we'll get more into that later. A great series from Seattle, a quick 3-0, really, against the Ravens. And, you know, there's not really, uh, I feel like there's not really that much to talk about. I just wonder if London's going to be able to figure it out later. There was a couple of nice plays from Afro, and I feel like Afro's just going to be such a great player. But, uh, I mean, the rookies of Pred and Siv on Seattle look fucking scary. I'm excited to see how that continues on for the rest of the season. Then uh, we have the New York Subliners versus the Bros versus the Boston Breach. Uh, possibly my favorite series of the weekend. It was such an entertaining series. Watching New York play the entire weekend was awesome. I really, really like the way that they play. And that series against Boston, it was fantastic. Boston had some really good moments. And I'm very, very excited to see how that team uh, will pan out. Because uh, Capsital and Matt 4 went off. He went huge. And uh, I think, well, Methods is still one of my favorite players in the league. And Methods and TJ are just two players I want to see succeed. And I'm super excited to see the upside of Capsital and Nero for the rest of the season. So I think Boston is going to be a really fun team to watch. And this will be the first Boston team I've ever cheered for, which is funny. And then to close out the night, we had the Thieves versus the Legion. I don't think anyone really expected the Legion to win here. Uh, they didn't look as bad as I was expecting, to be fair. Uh, but, I mean, I did get the prediction 100% right. This was one of the few predictions I got right for the weekend. Um, it was 3-1. And, uh, yeah, I think it was a pretty easy series for the Thieves. The Thieves didn't really have much of a challenge at all until Toronto, I feel. But then we move on to Saturday. Uh, a pretty good series starting off the night fantastically between Atlanta and Seattle. It was awesome. It was a great series, and Seattle really is the Atlanta killers. Now, I'm not saying that Atlanta wasn't trying because I do think they were trying, and honestly, it definitely does look like Seattle's the better team right now. But uh, I really feel like uh, Atlanta... I just, I don't know, I feel like Atlanta just doesn't care as much as some of the other teams do, and because of that, they will lose more series. Um, I think they will have a, a much more realistic record this year than they did pa the past season, because last year was absurd, and I just think this, this, this season, I think, might be the most competitive the CDL has ever been. I'm really, really excited to see how it pans out, um, and again, it was a fantastic series to watch. I mean, the Subliners and Breach series, uh, Phase and Surge series, and then um, uh, Ultra and Thieves series. I think those three series were probably my favorite three series of the weekend. They were all really entertaining, um, but I guess we can move on. Minnesota versus the Subliners. Minnesota looked like the Minnesota of old, and not in a good way. Minnesota looked very poor, um, I feel like, in that series. I mean... They completely outslayed the uh, the subliners on map one, and they still lost the map, which is never a good thing. Obviously, that means New York was making the right plays, and whatever kills they were getting mattered more. 
Uh, but Minnesota, I mean, they outslayed New York by like 20 kills, I think it was, like 22 kills or something, and they lose map one. It was a close map, but they shouldn't be losing map one. They sh you shouldn't be losing a map when you're outslaying so heavily, but obviously those are just mistakes that Minnesota was making that they need to fix. So I'm intrigued to see how Minnesota will bounce back for that. I think Minnesota getting 3 out was one of the biggest surprises of the weekend, to be honest. So I feel like a lot of people expected Minnesota to do better, although this subliners team is really, really good. And Cl Krim and Clay honestly prove that they are still some of the best players the league or in the league, and I really don't think there's any doubt in that. And Hydra and Neptune are going to be a menace sub-duo uh, this season. They, that could honestly probably rival uh, Abizi and Sim, so... Who knows what happens. Um, I'm not going in order of time this time, whatever. Then we had Optic versus the Thieves, of course, uh, where viewership peaked on the weekend. And it wasn't that much of a series, I feel. It was it was somewhat close, but the Thieves honestly seemed to, uh, seemed to handle Optic pretty easily, uh, which was pretty surprising. I expected it to be a much closer series. I did, ex I did expect Optic to win, and I mean... Both of these teams are super, or have such high ceilings. Uh, I mean, uh, Scump and Shotzi could be one of the best sub duos in the league, as well as Draza and um, Envoy. I think they could be uh, one of the best sub duos in the league. So I'm intrigued to see how that rivalry will continue throughout the season because it was a very interesting series, but. Honestly, I think a lot of people were uh, underwhelmed by how poorly Optic played. Um, and I mean, it, it wasn't even really close. Like, the Search and Destroy was not close. Um, moving on to Toronto versus the Florida Mutineers. A pretty standard series, I feel like. This was a lot of their series last year. Although, Florida, I feel like, always seems to give Toronto a bit of a struggle. And, you know, I didn't find this series to be that bad. Uh, it was a very entertaining series, though, don't get me wrong. All of Toronto's series were very fun to watch. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think overall, I think Florida's better than I expected them to be, which is good. Um, yeah, so a, a big takeaway for Florida is that I think they are definitely better than what they were last year and could probably even reach the uh, tournament-winning Florida Mutineers that they were in the first uh, season of the CDL Moving on to Sunday, we have, of course, the semis. We'll do the semis first. We had Seattle versus New York, which is not a team, or ni neither of those teams I expected to be in the top four, and they were, and it was a great series to watch again, and Seattle, uh, I think Seattle's got to be up there in terms of top teams in the league in teamwork, uh, and I mean, pure skill alone, uh, Seattle could really win, th win some things this year, and it was a great series to watch, and great to see Seattle make a final for the first time and i think this is the first time they've even made a top four so it's very good to see that um it, it's 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 fresh and it's nice to see it you know everyone i probably expected toronto optic phase and minnesota right so i uh, it's nice to have a different top four we had ultra thieves rock or uh, subliners and surge like that's a very unique top four which is very cool uh, and then, of course, in the other semis, we had the Thieves and Ultra. Uh, the Ultra completely clutched up in map four to win the hard point and force a game five. And uh, overall, a very, very awesome series to watch. Uh, unfortunately, I was at work, so I didn't get to watch that series. But uh, I did watch it after, and it was, a, it was definitely a great series to watch. And then, uh, of course, moving on to the finals, we have... Uh, well, I expected Atlanta Toronto, but it was actually Seattle Toronto, and uh, a really fun series again. Toronto, um, honestly, I feel like it's somewhat surprising that they did win uh, here because, as they all mentioned after winning the kickoff event, uh, everyone was not expecting to do as well as they did just because of how their scrims were and how practice was before this. So overall, it was pretty surprising, but. Nonetheless, I'm still I'm still glad I got to see them win. Uh, of course, it's just the kickoff doesn't mean too much, but as Cami said, I believe it is definitely a confidence booster. And of course, as an ultra supporter, I'm very happy to see them win, and I'm hoping we'll be able to see much more of that this season. Overall, I think there's a lot of positives for a lot of teams here. Um, I think Seattle is going to be a team to be reckoned with this year. Uh, Optic needs to get better. Boston was 
really, really fun to watch. I'm very intrigued to see how they do. London and Minnesota need to be better. Paris, I feel like, is still on the outside. They're probably, I'd say, probably still the worst team in the league. And uh, the Thieves had a very good event. And as they are expected to, I think the Thieves will be a top team at some point this year. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys all did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts on the weekend. I think it was fantastic. And I'm super, super pumped. Major one, not too far away. Uh, What is it? I think um, February. I can't click. Never mind. All right. So uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm pretty sure it's in two weeks. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.